All right, welcome back to the GSK Wealth Builders channel. Today I'm going to talk about the Helium Long AP Miner. And what I just want to go over is some of the some of the specs. Let's see what the Long AP is bringing to the table as of right now. We know that the miner is going to be available for Europe and the UK, I guess. There's one miner for Europe and one get one for the UK. So that's what is for right now, but who knows? It's one of the most expensive miners ever sold in the Helium network uh, system, but there must be a reason. So let's just try and figure out what's going on. We're going to go on the website and just see what's going on there, right? So this is the long AP miner. As you can see, unlike other miners, it looks exactly like a regular router, right? So it has the two antennas. It has the nice box. Um, and the long AP is a full gateway system. So look at the processor. So it has the AMD quad core processor. So that's pretty, you know, it's pretty decent. And then you have a two gig DDR RAM. You have the Intel LAN gigabit interface. So they're using quality, they're using quality um, components. And then the Bluetooth connector. So it's going to be able to connect to Bluetooth, which is a 4.9 DBI Bluetooth antenna. So one antenna is a 4.9 dbi antenna which i believe is the most powerful uh, antenna that has been out and then the lower wan antenna is a 3 dbi antenna which is uh, pretty decent power 12 volts so i believe the the power supply 24 watts so i believe that the lowest power drag is 5 watts then there's one that's 12 watts and then this is one that's 24 watts so you're probably looking at 100 bucks a year maybe in power drainage and then the laser engraved in housing and assertations that's all the same two-year warranty one-year warranty so antennas says we advise you use the long ap antenna with the original antenna to comply with local regulations so there are people putting mega antennas on their roofs. They're just saying, you know, we're telling you, you should use what we offer. So it looks like this is a powerful, this is a powerful processor. Now, will it mine more? No, that's not the way that things work. It will not mine more just because it has a more powerful quad core processor. However, it may be able to use less of its power to do what it's needed to do right so it might be working at 40 percent capacity instead of 100 percent capacity all the time now when it comes to the antennas we don't know right it's a 3 dbi antenna but how quality how much quality is this 3 dbi antenna what's the loss what's the signal loss things like that right so we don't know but from these stats i can see why the price would be 700 dollars not 700 euros Right, I could see why the price would be seven hundred dollars, but um, let me see what the conversion is of the euros to dollars. So you're looking at eight hundred and seventy-three U.S. dollars for this long AP router or uh, miner, and overall, I feel like if you could get this miner you know, two times faster than any other miner. Why not get it? If you could get one of the first orders, like the day that it goes for sale, you could be one of the first people in Europe to buy this miner. Why not? Because you're going to get more time, uh, more time mining right now when the, the earnings are good, if you're in a good area, right? So that's the opportunity cost. Now I'm just going to take a look and check and see. No, currently out of stock. So that's the long AP motor. And then Updates. So when you go to updates, there's a little thing here. So it shows, right? We already went over this. So they passed their testing in March. They had the Helium hardware audit in April 2nd, so about 20 days ago. And then they had the app integration, right, on the 6th. The HIP-19 approval on the 14th. And start manufacturing their planning. So my guess is they're going to get to a certain level of manufacturing before they take orders, which is good. Imagine they just took 100,000 pre-orders and they don't even have anything set up. You end up being like Synchrobit. So that is, uh, all I can say is if they're taking time, I think that's a good thing. 
and we're yet to see the performance but from the components and from what i'm seeing here it looks like it's going to be a solid miner it looks like it's going to be decent so and then the two-year warranty for for you know consumer customers and one-year warranty for for professionals so that's all i got for now and yeah that's the update so what do you think what do you think about the miners so there there is some other ones there's about five other ones that look like they put in an application um, we don't know what's going to happen with the applications but i hope they approve a couple more because there's just too many um, for the manufacturers now the last update i saw 250,000 miners have been ordered there's 25,000 on the on the or 28,000 on the blockchain right now so that means we have you know we could see in nine months from now 275,000 miners on the blockchain going after 2.5 million hnt per month right so the price of helium today is 14 dollars we'll see what happens to the price i think the price is going up this is not financial advice my target for helium is 50 bucks i have some friends whose target is 100 bucks um, some people started buying the coin instead of buying the miners so we're going to see that but i just like helium as a company i like what they're doing i like um, the ethos i like the communication so i'm going to stick with helium no matter what and uh, we're going to go from there so that is all we got um, for now thanks for watching um, like and share the video please subscribe to the channel and, and yeah just keep showing your support i'm going to keep bringing out the videos for you so that's all we got for now take care